Good morning. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM on this wonderful Wednesday. Glad you're tuning in with us this morning. We're buckle up. You're in for a ride. I'm Jeremy Rabe. Buckle up, Buttercup. I'm Maddie Conklin. And it's a wonderful Wednesday. A little hectic behind the scenes, but we got it. But the viewers will never know. Until I just told them. Until you but just ratted us out, Maddie. Well, we are very honest. We keep it real. We're so. keeping it real, but you guys won't know what's, co what's even coming at you. Whoa! I'm just kidding. Nothing's over there. It's Jesse Inman. Mm -hmm. It's just Jesse. It's just, just Jesse. No. I think Maddie had a five hour energy this morning. <laughs> all that she was so su subdued in the office and then all of a sudden you come out here and it's like, Star Wars. Would you like me to be mundane and boring? Yes. Can we try it that's, that's and go? <laughs> Guys, look how quiet it is. No, I don't like that. That's not cool. <laughs> I need to, I need to talk. I need to use my voice today. No, you know why I'm okay, hyper? Why? I'm going on vacation. Oh, yeah. Maddie's gone the next three days. <laughs> yeah. Vacation for her and me. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I had to, Maddie. Oh, I had to. <sighs> I had to. Come on. You walked right into that. I did. You walked right into that. Okay. Remember how? I need some by, new shoes, I guess. Way, I walked right in. Maddie, I thought of you yesterday because I was getting ready for an event, which we'll show you in just a second. And I, I, was had, at, I was at that event with you anyways. I know. I was getting ready for the event. I said, we'll show you. But I was like, I had no TVs on. I was talking to the feed and the pets, getting my clothes done, and it was dead silent. And I was like, I hope Maddie has taken my advice to have some silence in her life and reflect and have some me time and just think and ponder life. So I tried that yesterday. <laughs> during my nap, and I was abruptly woken up by my husband screaming at the TV because his soccer team was losing. And I'll tell you what, like you said, what you fear. You create. You create. I, I couldn't even stop the fear. I was like, <gasps> what? Oof. And I created a chaotic nap time for myself. Well, he kind of did, and then it just led to me not being quiet anymore. So yeah. I tried. It, well, I try to implement what we baby, talk about. Baby steps. Yes. Baby steps. Also, we went to the Harmony House's Purple Party last night. We have a couple photos. There's me with Marty McFly with the DeLorean, by the way. <laughs> DeLorean was there. He would not let me take it to go back in time. I was very upset about that. However, he was very nice. And yes, that is a life preserver. No, I'm just kidding. If you know the movie, you know what I'm talking about. There's <laughs> Maddie and I in our matching onesies. Well, kind, kind of, of ish. Kind of matching. Yeah. Our little onesies. And yes, that is my real hair. Got a haircut last night right before the show <laughs> this morning. And there we are with our good friend Kristen Bergman of McDonald's. We love her so much. She was actually supposed to fill in for Maddie on Friday, but unfortunately she has a work commitment, but she will be back. And we thanked her for our amazing bagels and McGriddles. Yeah. Those were she's super awesome. good. I know. And she also extended the invitation. Anytime you guys need anything, you just let me know. I'm like, I was like, well, can we do it Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 7 before we go on air? I was like, can I have a new product, please, every day? Every day? I was like, do you take suggestions? Yeah, right? I was like, could we just suggest a new product? A little products? comment box. <laughs> oh, no, goodness. It was fun. And I also mentioned to Jeremy, so last year at the Purple Party, you had a very similar hairdo. However, it just went straight up. There was no length to it. And I go, well, a year later, it's all grown out. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted him to do a side by side, but we didn't have time to get those. It's, so. a, it's, all, it's all good, but it was so much fun. Raised yes. a lot of money. Members Only was there playing. They had an amazing taco bar and mac and, and cheese, cheese bar. And also, did you try the meatballs? They had two different kinds of meatballs. How did I miss the meatballs? Okay, maybe they came out after the, because the taco bar was kind of be, being disassembled. You were on stage at this point, oh. you know, getting the show going. And um, so I was like. I missed the meat. Were they Swedish? Um, or barbecue? Barbecue. Okay. And then one almost was kind of like an like Asian glaze or something. Huh. So I, I had those. Those were real I miss, good. All I know is when I walked in, I have a, a what is it, a, what is it, bloodhound? Yeah. They can smell things. I smelled the taco bar. And, like, and I was like. I'm coming I for you. I smell Mexican food, and I am there. So I did have, because I, I wasn't even very hungry, had a little bit of uh, chicken nachos. Well, good. You needed sustenance before it you so gave delicious. it your all. You know who I like to see dressed up in 80s gear? Jesse and Angela. I was going to say, I was jealous of you guys last yeah. night. That looks so yeah. fun. It was. Yeah. I love rocking good some times. 80s gear. The, uh, and how about members only, what'd you think? I mean, you've probably seen them before. Oh, a million times. Yeah. Love them. So great. They were great, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 80s They're covers. I mean, I'm sure that's what they did, right? That's some oh. 80s yes. covers. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it was an all fun. 80s party, 80s right cover. Yeah. Up that. in their alley. They that were so good. And I got to so say, good. some of the fashion by both men and women at the party, I was jealous. Like, this girl had this beautiful sequenced purple dress with the big ruffles. So I go, oh. I want that. 
I yeah. need it. That's the thing. You yes, have everything from say. 80s prom attire yeah. to mm -hmm. the 80s neon Madonna crinoline. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I love like, that. Yes. All genres. It's just a wide variety, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy, your hair there, mm -hmm. which you just recently had cut. I'm yeah, right. thank you. Um, is it, it looked? It, I had like. 80s hair band, like, like Motley Crue vibe. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Looking yeah. like uh, the Big Nikki hair Fitz. band, we like it. So. I got that. It's very funny because, you know, I've, that's, this was the ninth annual Purple Party. Uh, wow. I've hosted eight of the nine years, which I didn't uh -huh. realize until last night. Uh -huh. And I was like, wow. It's funny having that wig on. People I've known for years and seen didn't recognize me at first. Because well. they're not used to seeing you with hair. I was gonna say like that long. Not many, oh. like when I was with you, not many people came up. Last year, everyone was like Jeremy, you know. And it's I was the just hair. Like, the hair <laughs> sit back. That's why I had to get a cut. This one yeah, lady. Oh know. my gosh, not even, not even kidding though. <laughs> so I was walking and talking, and this one lady goes, "Oh, there's you." She goes, "I didn't recognize you, but I recognized your voice." Yeah, there yes. you go. So she she took a <laughs> selfie, but I'm like, yeah, I was incognito uh, last night. Incognito. Yeah. I like it. It was, it was so like, cute. I liked it. That reminds me of uh, when, you know, when masks were all the rage a couple of years ago, two, yes. three years ago. Oh, yeah. We were all wearing masks, and, you know, you walk around in public, nobody recognizes you. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? So, true. you know, you're walking around Price Cutter or whatnot. Yeah. Jeremy, that's, mm -hmm. I mean, you're among the most popular folks to ever step foot in a Price Cutter. Well. Um, or a Hy-Vee or wherever you may be going. Yeah. So, um, you know, the folks there are just uh, flocking toward you. Yeah. And then, it's like last night with the hair. You know, incognito. Isn't it funny Jeremy too Ray? when you meet people during the pandemic and then you see them outside the pandemic and you don't know who they are because you're used to seeing them with the mask? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. And you're it's like, always the you worst. The bottom half. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, hey, you. You get who? this. Buddy. Oh, or so someone's like, hey, remember me? I'm like, yes. I do. <laughs> I cover your lower half. Let me see. Right. Let me see. Oh, it's yeah. you, <laughs> Betty. That's I knew it. true. Well, the fantastic food that you've been discussing has made me hungry. So Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's completely shift gears here and talk about zebras. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's yep. do it. Sorry. Uh, you, they told you to buckle your seatbelts, folks. Okay. They told <laughs> so, you to. Did you and, guys uh, know that yeah. they can actually bark? Woof. Uh, yeah. Woof. Yeah. Just like a dog. So plain zebras bark like dogs. Uh, we're sorry. We unfortunately don't have any audio of that. Well. But they do gain <laughs> the attention of other zebras or to acknowledge other zebras upon meeting them. And it's a distinct sound that actually matches the bark of a small dog. Oh. I would expect it to be like a hearty bark, but I guess it's more like a chihuahua uh. or a pomer. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's good. I want to know that next time I go to like the St. Louis Zoo or Dickerson Park Zoo here in Springfield, mm -hmm. like, do they have zebras? I don't know. Uh, wait, I believe so. Park, yeah. yes, I believe so. I was like, hold that thought a second. Uh -huh. No, they do. Something I got to do this summer, but I'll yeah, yeah. see if they bark. <gasps> Bro, no, here, Jesse, here if they bark. Angela and Jesse go with us next year to brew at the zoo. <gasps> yes. Oh, and our we friends. Next year. That's this right. year. Kevin and Chris. Well, this oh, next season. Oh, this next season. season. I got yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, next, next year. Upcoming. Well, yeah. this year. That sounded got so it. fun, too. I remember I just started here, and I remember thinking, I think I saw you guys when. It looks like a really great time. It was so fun. It was really great. I may, at the zoo. may have to tag along. Get Girl, some animal invitation stuff. open. Yeah. Oh, take it. I'll be there. Yeah, well, if, if our friends Kevin and Chris are going to be there as well, then you know they we were got there the last whole year, I think, too. It's a big yeah. party. Yeah. Did we run into Kevin and Chris last year? I don't believe. I remember it was a big event though. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they're also were there, at the Dickerson was, yeah. Park Zoo. So everything. Kevin was probably wearing the hair, and he he was in. Uh, yeah, he I was in. We need to do a video with so. that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, right, we'll figure that out. Okay, well let's talk to Tom Schmidt. He was barking over there. I don't know if you guys heard him. He was like. That was zebras. Do we have a studio zebra now? It's our new station pet. We're trying things out here. There well, we go. What I admire is you said we have no sound effects, and yet Tom was providing them over the images of the zebras. Yes. Tom, multifaceted, multimedia. That's how we keep him around. Multimedia meteorologist. Mm -hmm. 